Hey everyone, how's it going? Cell here, and welcome back to episode 6 of the Iron Man Achievement Hunter series. Starting this one off with a piece of content I uh, never ended up doing all that much in the early game. I know some people do, but never the. or I never was a huge fan of these uh, early D&Ds all that much, uh, so I just never ended up doing them. Well, there's an achievement to participate in the killing of an evil tree, so gonna do that now. I'm about 14k XP from 99 woodcutting, so I will get that either from this or shortly thereafter, I imagine. And speaking of achievements, might as well go over the summary once more. 1924 out of 3061, as in the end of the last episode. 15,860 rune score, 2848 total level. Closing in on a bill XP, which is crazy. Never thought I'd ever have that in any version of RS. Uh, long surpassed my old main of like 600 something million, I think. But including the last woodcutting level I have to go, I am nine levels from max right now, which is pretty great. Uh, it hasn't been that long since I started the account. Uh, my playtime is admittedly pretty high, but a lot of AFK time in there, a lot slash most skills are AFK. I have a uh, recognized a notable decline in my capacity to speak over the course of recording the series, and hopefully that gets corrected. Anyways, uh, one woodcutting level, three agility levels, pretty close to 97 there, two room crafting, and three dungeoneering levels, and will be maxed. Uh, I am going to max with the Ego, though, so uh, if I am ahead of him too much, I'll hold back on like the last probably dungeoneering level or something. Shouldn't be too hard. Uh, but until then, I'm mostly sticking to agility dailies for agility, and runecrafting, I believe I have enough essence to just bang out one of these days. Apart from that, the plans for this episode are kind of up in the air, probably working towards getting some upgrades for making the staff farmadil better. I am going on vacation in two days, so I'm going to be gone for a few days thereafter. I'm going to miss the Zamorak release, but... We'll be back a few days later to check that out and see what's up. Maybe people have strategies by then. Might go solo, might go in a group. Uh, not sure yet, but that content will most likely make it into this episode. Uh, yeah, I have been doing quite a few Dagonoff Kings as well. Before the end of the last episode, I had like 300 killed with three of each of these rings. Gotten a lot of dragon hatchets. Uh, and now I'm up to nine Berserker rings, nine Warrior rings. Not sure how good the upgraded, or uh, I don't remember what the upgraded ring for melee is called, but the Reaver's ring is what I'm aiming for. I need 11 Berserker rings in total. One is required for a Master Clue, and then 10 are required for the Reaver's ring, so uh, hoping to pick that up and then head over to Rex Matriarchs and get the upgrade material. Alright, is that it? Alright. I was worried because it didn't really do anything for a second, and I was like, okay, is it done? <laughs> Shows you how little I've interacted with this content, I guess. And in addition to that, there are another set of achievements here. Oh, I had just enough inventory space. Uh, I slowly collected 25 crystal geodes from uh, woodcutting crystal trees, and there are achievements. If I have enough inventory space here, do this extremely slowly. Uh, I don't know if I click open or shatter all. Okay, it does it one at a time. Yep, there should be one for 5, 10, and then 25. There's 10. And here comes the last one out of the skilling section. Woodcutting, last achievement is to get 99. Alright, got a lamp for the ease of getting this level and making sure I don't miss it. 99 woodcutting, okay, my private was on. <laughs> Might as well pick up the cape. Uh, let's see, yes please. Nope, picked the wrong one every time. Here we go. Uh, cape perk is kind of useless. Increased chance of bird's nest or crystal geode. Uh, yeah, would have been good if I didn't do the achievements beforehand, but figured I might as well get it on the way since I didn't plan on going back to cr crystal trees after 99. Anyways, timeless 
old classic emote there. It actually goes pretty well with the outfit. Just looking at it, the color scheme isn't too bad. Uh, so yeah, one more down. Only three more left. All right, Zamorak has come out, and there's a new mini quest that accompanies it. Uh, so starting that here at Adrastea, um, you do have to run the dungeon once for the mini quest. I don't know if I'll do. I haven't really decided. I'll probably decide in the moment. Uh, but you can do story mode or normal or whatever mode you want to really for the mini quest. I might do story mode just to get the lay of the land and see, you know, what the uh, dungeon feels like and, in general, what the uh, method is that you run through it is because they said in the teasers and the reveal streams and all that that it was going to be that they implied that it was going to be very linear except people seem confused about what you have to do getting through it which does not sound very linear so I'll probably watch some videos on that or uh, read some posts and then yeah get to experience it myself either in normal mode or story mode Alright, a uh, significant improvement in going from the first to second kill there. Uh, let's see, is my quick chat still broken? I did a normal mode kill, of course, last time, so... Nope, it's just straight up completely broken. Alright then. Um, yeah, don't know what's up with that. I obviously have two kills here. One in normal mode, one in enraged mode, and still nothing. Uh, anyways, the loot, 2.1 mil. Um, Hydrix Bolt Tips, I guess I'll keep this. I probably don't want to blow reroll tokens on super low stuff anyways, although, yeah, I guess Soul Runes and Hydrix Bolt Tips make this uh, something I possibly want to keep. If it was something like the last chest, I would just use this. They all, um, between the quest, the event, and the mini quest, give completely different reroll tokens. So, this one says Aftermath, so it's from the mini quest which is kind of annoying. I guess I can turn the game audio off as well. I don't know how loud that was in the recording, but anyways, um, yeah, just, I, I don't see the point in them doing that, and it's kind of annoying, so I'd rather just use up the bank space this is taken up and get that back uh, sooner rather than later, and then use the other ones as I get to higher enrages. All right, literally last kill of the hour. <laughs> First hour back, let's see how many, I mean the Berserker you can get from anything, uh, I believe, but I was killing Orakalka because I also have all the warrior rings I need. Uh, it started at 43, so 28 kills in, 71 for Heart of the, Heart of the Berserker. Base rate is one in uh, 200 for the hearts. Uh, Necklace of Salamancy gives 3% to that and 1% from Luck of the Dwarf, so that was a 1 in 192 effectively. So, yeah, let's get this thing made. Oh, I don't think I actually went over or made a clip for when I got the Berserker rings I needed. This is kind of nuts. How much of these are? Almost 8 mil? Have they gone up again? Uh, either way, about to tank some bank value, I believe, because this will be untradeable. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Awesome. So uh, plus 5% crit chance at the cost of 5% accuracy. So at bosses where I have 100% accuracy, even despite the 5% reduce, or reduction I should say, uh, that'll be the best in slot ring I have for uh, mage and possibly other things as well. Um, yeah, with the Staff Farm it'll obviously every bit of crit you can get uh, has an incremental effect, pushing you closer to 100%, getting more consistent critical strikes and whatnot. Uh, can cause some chain reactions as well. Anyways, um, I will be going back to Rex Matrix and even Orakalka in the future. I honestly did not expect to get this, expected uh, at least like, I don't know, four or five hours worth and not just one? Holy crap, what are all these people doing? Um, Anyways, yeah, the rings will be pretty nice to get, and especially now that you can upgrade them to be even better than, than before. For reference, the other rings have, or style-specific rings, I should say, have 
uh, roughly 3% each or that's kind of like the standard they went for and the upgrades take the melee and range rings to 4% with some additional damage as well so that's pretty nice uh, but for now though have this oh hey first drop from Calgarian Demons decided to come here instead of like the ED3 story mode method I think that still works but uh, decided to come here because uh, as indicated by the collection log pop-up need some drops from here and I was gonna bring in Ushabti as well but I forgot oh well I'll just come back here more in the future I'm sure but I also didn't want to commit to that given that I want to go to a different elite dungeon and that's why I'm collecting these so also just didn't need that many of them so figured I would come here for the time being all right running a, another Zami session right now uh, I've decided what I'm gonna do is take my biting to mobile perk off of my ganodermic, ganodermic leggings and put on biting for demon slayer for these runs um, losing mobile is probably gonna take some getting used to but I can always I always take a bladed eye switch to pretty much everything so if I need to uh, that has mobile on it and I can use that to get around probably a good habit to get into anyways because I'm probably not gonna have mobile on everything for the rest of all time so let's make sure I click the right one and I'm putting it on the ganodermic legs because it's something I can easily disassemble if I need to and just go back and get another pair with a different perk setup if I want uh, in case I get upgrades or want to switch to a different style or something like that for the time being. I also picked up the uh, puzzle box which I should have done at the beginning I just kept forgetting. Um, reduced environmental damage within Infernus so I believe that means during one of the mechanics I'll just be taking less damage from things. Uh, I don't know how marginal that is but you know whatever amount helps. Holy crap! <laughs> New PV by almost three minutes. Uh, getting a bit more used to the staff spec. Uh, not quite to the point of being able to switch to Xang and back during this fight, but uh, don't have a problem with that on other fights, really. This one just, you know, still getting used to the mechanics and all that. I'm sure I'll be able to pick that up at some point. Um, can I bank here? Yes. What I want to do is grab this. Look at this. Okay, it's a rare relic. Uh, you know what? This is kind of decent loot. Uh, maybe I should just take this and then use the reroll next time. Yeah, I'm just going to do that. Uh, go ahead and bank this, I guess. But yeah, looking uh, pretty solid. I did die once. Um, I was actually dealing so much damage that he did the mechanic where he sends you into Infernus or two in furnace I should say with uh, the demon and the big hit that you're supposed to mitigate but he, I had already gotten him down to the phasing point so the mage was also there and I was just like okay am I supposed to deal with the mage after the demon before I do any defensive stuff and then um, the mage stunned me on the tick I was trying to cast immortality so ended up dying as a result but that happens uh happened a few times in this fight actually those two mechanics happening at the same time so um i know to look out for that a little bit more and how to handle it more appropriately i guess also um part of the reason i just ran ed4 is because i did engineering daily which apparently doesn't count for the dungeoneering daily We'll leave it to Jagex, I guess. Attempting to clear out some bank space. Think I might have gone a little overkill on the amount of eggs I need, because I think I only need four based on what this was saying. Uh, yes, add all golden fish eggs. Let's see here. I don't know why I have to go in in order to do that or do anything really. The fish list. And I think that should be all of them. And I can unlock things here, maybe? Hey, there we go. Unlock all prawn perks. Because it just does it automatically. Uh, as soon as you have them all, you don't have to go through and pick them all, I guess. So, yeah, pretty uh, solid there. Which means I guess I can get rid of these. 
Yeah, okay. Oh wait, it mentions progress resetting. Prestiging. Does that provide any benefit? I guess I'll look that up. Okay, so the wiki says prestiging will not reset any of your perks or anything like that, but it will um, allow you to get some unlocks. Finishing the first prestige will give you a chinchampa plug within the underwater area, and second prestige is the stone of jazz plug. So I'll go ahead and do that. I had to go and add a plug, but apparently you just pull this, and let's see, reset your progress, lose all current fish, create new cosmetic words. Okay, let's do this. It says I'll keep my perks, so hopefully that remains true. Okay, yeah, if I go here, it says I have prawn points, but I've already unlocked all available perks, so it's pretty good. Go ahead and unlock all these. Again, that is mostly just clearing bank space, so let's go ahead and do that, and we'll start on the second one. Just finished up a Zamorak Reaper. It went pretty well, I'd say. No deaths so far. I haven't... I don't think I've died since my first kill, but... Uh, up to 80 in rage complete, which means one more run until I start experiencing the dreaded final phase uh, at 100% plus. Don't know if I'm going to do that right now or wait until tomorrow or something, but yeah. Uh, I got Reaper's Choice, decided to go for uh, Zamorak. He gives 1 to 4 at the base, and I got 4, so did quite a few. Um... Yeah, I seem to be hard stuck right around 8 minutes so far, but I know there's a lot I could do to improve my times. Uh, my rotations still aren't completely down how I would like them to be, so uh, a lot of work to Im or a lot of things to improve on there. Uh, that said, the loot is looking pretty good. I like getting the rare relics for the components. I uh, haven't disassembled any yet. I have 4 or 5 now, I think, but... Yeah, this is, uh, I believe, my best chest so far. Some scales, onyx, and some rare relics. That's pretty nice. Obviously no uniques, or I would have made a clip about it. And as far as the chest, we're looking around 50 mil here. There's like 25, 30 mil worth of alcohols. Uh, some component things as well. Remnants, Crystal Chaos, and Zamorak and Sigils. These are the nicest ones because they're equivalent to three... Uh, Zamorak components, which would be good for impatient, uh, devoted combos, uh, yeah, other than that, runes are nice, potions are pretty nice, keys are nice, I might make a video of me opening a ton of those at once or something, uh, the herbs are nice, etc, etc, and slowly building up slivers towards upgrades. Uh, I have 8 slivers of pain right now, and I need, I think, 15 total for the Inquisitor staff upgrade, so that's what I'm working towards right now. I don't have the means to make the other upgrades at the moment, so that's what I'm working towards. Ended up going to a full raid with the clan. Uh, Beastmaster went great. Yakamaru went less great, but, you know, I'm partially to blame. I know, like, nothing about Yakamaru and don't know any roles, really, so... My jobs are deal damage and stay alive, neither of which I am particularly good at at times. I didn't get any loot, but as you can see from the chat going absolutely nuts, uh, we had a collective, like, eight broadcasts, <laughs> which is absolutely nuts. Everybody's just going bonkers in the clan chat right now. Um, well, I ended up feeling maybe a tad left out, so I ended up uh, idling here for a second as I contemplated doing this, but... Uh, consider I'm getting closer and closer to max, and I was mostly just doing the dungeoneering hole at this point anyways for, like, daily XP. I decide to, uh, dump some reward XP into dungeoneering to get that last little broadcast on top. Uh, I think it cost me, like, 20-something penguin points, so not too bad. It's like a week's worth, uh, with no resets. Uh, so yeah, it wasn't too bad, all things considered, but there is... 99 Dungeoneering. Uh, two more to go, Agility and Runecrafting. Don't know if I've mentioned this before, but I'll be uh, slow playing that and worrying about getting those two finished off uh, as they come, I guess. 
All right, this is it. I'm up to Zamorak at 100% and Rage. I can go ahead and start heading there. Heard it's pretty tough, so I'm gonna give it a shot and hope it goes well. Uh, let's see, just to show I'm at uh, 10 kills here, and I can quick chat my Enrage. Most Enrage kills, 90%. This is the next one. So yeah, gonna go within, gonna go in with a Calg Demon to start, and if it goes horrendously bad, I'll go and get a Hellhound or something, um, and maybe try to work out how to use Disruption Shield as well. Don't have a third rune pouch, so bringing Spellbook Swap and all that is gonna be a big constraint in my inventory though. So gonna try to avoid that if possible. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna start the recording and or keep a recording of that going and see how it goes. Holy crap. <laughs> I have spent literally all day on this. Oh, my wife hasn't seen me in weeks. It is what it feels like, probably. Alright, check the loot. Yep, about what I expected. Guess I'll keep it five and a half mil. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I struggled to do this. Like I said in the, the opening clip, I had a Calg Demon for the longest time. And yeah, I wish I would have asked the clan for help sooner because um, this was two attempts after asking for help. I uh, don't know if I want to reroll this actually. I'm thinking about it now. I don't know if I'll include that bit in the video or if I'll just watch it back and do a cut or something, but I'm pretty sure I could have one cycled with more practice. Um, I'm honestly a bit surprised I was able to two cycle it. I was actually mostly able to because he was so low that I didn't need to block anything. I just killed him before the second big attacks came in, but he was at like 2k health at the end of the first cycle. And I'm pretty sure he wasn't Vuln bombed, so. I'm uh, pretty confident I could get it if he was Vuln bombed and or smoke clouded uh, at the end there, but yeah, this is kind of nuts. I think this is by far the hardest PVM thing I've ever done, which is I guess not really saying anything because I haven't done that much hard stuff I feel like, but yeah, I don't know, pretty hyped. Now I can, I did not want to quit until I got it. And I wanted to include this in the video, my first 100% kill, so yeah, I didn't want to like stop and then come back in like four days or something like that. I went through so many life refreshes too, it's not even funny. <laughs> I mean, I was dying like six times an hour <laughs> and I was, do I was doing this like all afternoon, so yeah, pretty crazy. I thought I had recorded this already, but looking back at the old clips, doesn't look like I ha have. Here is the uh, loot from 0 to 100% Enrage from the dungeon runs themselves. So not including Zamorak loot, of course. Uh, also, not every rare drop table drop is in here because they clutter the chest and make it so I wasn't getting drops that I thought, like these sigils. Missed a couple of them because the chest was full with rare drop table stuff and I didn't realize it, so... Yeah, I've been keeping an eye on that. Um, I also used, somewhere in my notes here, um, 25 charms 
uh, Lucky Charms through the dungeon, so that's where like, these uh, Onyx Dust scales come in. A few of these Sliver Drops as well. Uh, apart from that, not bad loot. Uh, the runes are nice, of course, as well as the, uh, I actually like the super potion doses. Um, just generally good herb lore supplies, dragon skill dust, although I'm not really in need of any anti-fires right now. Crystal keys are nice. Maybe eventually go for, um, the outfit someday because of the quantity that they drop in these days. Uh, Alchemist Keys are pretty nice as well. Can get some herbal stuff from that. Uh, Stone Spirits, etc. Kind of useful, I guess, if I ever end up needing to make more masterwork. Uh, and then Alks. Lots of Alks. Uh, Sirenic Scales, I think those are all from the Lucky Charms. I don't think they drop naturally in the dungeon. Also, they no longer drop from Zamorak. They've been replaced with Blood Runes on his drop table, which is kind of unfortunate, but... Uh, you know, there are some good other ways to get Sirenic Scales, maybe not at the same rate, but uh, Way 4 Zuck Farming, for example, is pretty AFK, so could end up doing that at some point. Anyways, yeah, just showing this clip for continuity purposes, and just wanted to show it off, I guess, and then maybe see how, what I get from the next runs. Uh, I've pretty much decided that, based on how horribly 100% went, if I do Zamorak going forward, I might finish off my uh, 14 kills I need for the skip, the dungeon skip, doing 99% runs, and then going from there. There's a lot I could upgrade in terms of my gear. Uh, even still, I could get, you know, a Grimoire, uh, more Crypt Bloom, etc. So another Rune Pouch as well would go a long way for inventory space anyways, so... Uh, yeah, just got a couple things to work towards there, and I will probably, yeah, do those intermittently and maybe a little bit of the boss every now and then. 99% is easy, let's be honest, so if I actually want drops from the boss, I might just do that, and then if I want to start pushing, I will wait to do so until after uh, I get some of those core upgrades. I guess I can show this off since it won't be immediately obvious to anyone that either doesn't play or hasn't uh, experienced the update firsthand, these parts that were in the chest, um, they actually disassemble for invention components. Uh, Crystal Chaos was supposed to be crystal parts, I believe, which are common apparently. Yeah, 12 crystal parts, I believe, is, I think they're five each, uh, but obviously I have very few of them, so yeah, it must be good for something. Um, then these living remnants over here that I have one of should be uh, undead components. Take those apart, three of them. And then these Zamorak and sigils are three Zamorak components apiece, and apparently some other components as well. Uh, yeah, so pretty nice there. Help me work towards uh, Devoted 4 and Patient 4 with Zamorak and Ceridoman components, and undead are just useful for like equipment separators, maybe something else, Undead Slayer in low quantities, but yeah, always nice to pick up some Zamorak components. All right, you know what, I'm also gonna disassemble the five rare relics I've gotten so far and see what we get from those. Faceted, eh, Oceanic, all right, Harness, bad, Undead, eh, Faceted. Well, that was pretty terrible. Um, yeah, the only good thing I got was Oceanic, I guess. Uh, yeah, sure. I guess uh, I might stockpile more of those in the future. They're obviously pretty much always going to get disassembled, uh, unless I suddenly run out of need for components and want to elk them or something and work towards a title. After many trait rerolls and a handful of name rerolls, we have a magical Zygmite named Trevor with the loyal trait. Uh, yeah, let's do it. And that completes the things in the way, but ever so clever achievement, which means we can go ahead and buy Trevor the Magical Zygmite. Another bit of uh, achievement slash completionist thing there. Then I guess while we're here recording this clip, might as well unlock this as well for 250,000 beans. Gonna do it at some point, so might as well, I guess. And I think 
That's everything permanently unlockable from the uh, player-owned farm shop. Well, I guess I could buy all these <laughs> um, farm hands, but yeah, I probably will at some point in the future, but eh, you know what, screw it. Yep, I'm doing it. Probably never going to use pretty much any of these, but yeah, and these should be off by default. Yes. Sweet. Well, now I can truthfully say that that's pretty much everything from the player owned farm shop. Oh. <laughs> okay. That was so long. I have no idea how I pulled that off after running out of supplies. <laughs> what I felt was like halfway through or something. That is uh, my first hard mode Zuck and first flawless hard mode Zuck. Uh, all right, let's check the uh, the thing here. Right, starts with a T, not a Z. Yeah, there we go. First hard mode run took. Uh, how long was that? Forty something minutes. Okay, either it took so long it didn't count or. <laughs> Something to that effect. Uh, maybe it's because I didn't leave the arena. Uh, let's check again. Suck. Nope. Uh, I think it just doesn't track anything over 30 minutes. Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, and I should be able to combine my cape now. So let's go and see about that. Oh, first, there's a lot of Cyrenic scales. I should say. What I did was, uh, the Wave 5 challenge is the hardest with my setup, I don't have greater chain, so I basically went through until, went through Waves 1 through 5, until I got a rotation down that allowed me to uh, have a decent success rate at beating Wave 5, basically. Um, since for the hard hardless, uh, flawless run, you have to do it without leaving, without dying, of course, and uh, complete all three challenges successfully. So that one's the hardest, so I wanted to go through and practice that one a few times, and I did that yesterday, uh, and it seemed to pay off. Got it first time around today, and then the rest of it was decent. I mean, one of those waves I, like, straight plowed through all of my food, and I had one brew left for, like, I think waves... 11 and after something like that uh, So yeah, I was looking kind of dicey there for a second, but I actually turned off maniacal and put on vampirism <laughs> To make sure I could get through Because it was looking that desperate. I know the the damage obviously could have helped as well, but uh, I felt like it was uh, Gonna be more impactful to switch to vampirism. So I did that All right, let's go ahead and uh, put these things together now Yes, plus two bank space acquired. Check it out. I do like the combined cape more, I think. It's just more vibrant, I guess. And uh, in lieu of particles, it's got some glowy effects. Or some brightness, I guess. Not really glowing effect, since it's kind of what particles are a lot of the time. But anyways, yeah. Uh, not too bad. I am... Uh, Pretty ecstatic about having gotten that on my first attempt. I know I already went over the loot, but might as well do it one more time. 17 troves, so that means I spent, I guess, 1.7 to 1.8 hours worth of time um, getting the cape, essentially, between my practice of uh, wave 5 and the actual run through. Uh, might as well disassemble this. Nightly components, that is easily the worst one you can get. Uh, anyways, yeah, 14 mil for all that effort. Uh, not too bad. Cyrenic scales are nice, like I said. Irrits are really nice, actually. I needed some of those. Uh, yeah, I mean, the Zuck loot isn't anything new, but for anybody that doesn't play or hasn't seen it, that's kind of what you expect. Anyways, I think I'm going to be wrapping up the video here. I will probably post a full video, um, slightly edited, sped up and such of the Zuck fight, um, yeah, just all the way through so people can see my method, of course, um, 
had some requests for that so yeah <clears throat> other than that I think that about summarizes this whole situation uh, achievement progress 1948 out of 30 93 Ooh, I am uh, much lower rune score than I thought just over 16k I gotta step it up uh, I think since I'm kind of waiting to max a little bit I'm gonna focus on some more completionist style things coming here uh, shortly still got some quests and such to do um, mini quests and all that uh, sagas as well and the like and then of course still have achievement diaries and a uh, bunch of other like miscellaneous things that don't really grant XP or explicit like quest points or anything like that um, but are gonna be nice to have like getting Dominion Mines from the Dominion Tower uh, which I think I have to complete some quests for anyways so yeah that's what can be expected in uh, probably the next episode or two I would imagine but for now, did a decent amount of PVM stuff this episode and got some, uh, not necessarily progress per se, but uh, definitely some interesting experiences. Anyways, thanks for watching if you have this far, and I'll see you next time. Peace.